What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Zach Reacts. How are y'all doing today? So, in front of me, I have hell of a shorts. Hell of a boss. It's a hell of a short. This is the first of a, of apparently more shorts to come, which I am loving. Look, if we get more hell of a boss content, I am always for it, okay? Always. <laughs> I would say it's something in the last episode, but like, that doesn't really apply right now. So, let's get into this. Hell's Bells, Sally Mae, and Millie. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Someone's excited. And the rest. Oh, coming from the rest. Bells, over here. Wrong, wrong person. Lucky for you, a billion and one was the sweet spot to visit this trash heap. Of course, been here what before. the fuck? Oh, yes. I got the whole day planned out. Wow, the whole day. You ain't gotta run off with your princess to ask some earth fella. Business has been slow lately. Special. I. <laughs> Where are we starting? <laughs> Start with the day spa and some shopping. No offense, Sal, but you smell like hog ass. I do not. Chrissy, this probably fades regular. Oh, wait, no, no. Yep, you're right. That's, that is definitely hog ass. Come on. Okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna be something. Dang it. This town is not ready for them. So y'all pay to soak in mud here? Well, it's special mud. I mean, it is. Oh. I mean, that was pretty bad. No, 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 that is not her. How about this one? Ah. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Video game arcade? What is this chainsaw man? Oh, God. Oh, my. Ah. Oh, they're gonna destroy! Oh, <laughs> sorry, Wally. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see them getting along. Yo, I'm getting some. Kill this nigga, please. <laughs> On the house, nice. This is truly Hell's Bells. I told you you'd enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. I guess this place ain't so bad. She lives a country life. So many exciting things here, it's no wonder you never make your way back home. Uh... You know, the wrath ring, all that dirt and rust and boring nothingness. I was there at the last Harvest Moon Festival. You showed up with that blue-blooded bird, your dick-swinging boss, and that cupcake husband of yours, and you can really see how I'd fit into this shiny new life you built. Oh. Things get real crazy and busy over here and You think things didn't get busier for me back home when you decided to scooch? Sorry that I wanted my own life. Today was great. Better than great. It reminded me of how we used to be like this damn near every day before you left. Mm -hmm. There's always one there... in my life for my sister, Sally May. I'm sorry I ain't been back home as much as I'd like. I'll try harder. Ma and Daddy got plenty of extra hands at the ranch. Get them come visit more often too. I got a shit ton of brothers, like <laughs> really. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, escalation. What the fuck are we doing? Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. This is how they show love. <laughs> oh shit. Hey. What's up, Mark? Oh my god. What the hell? Dang, that short felt too short. I needed more of that. Oh, that, that that short felt too short. I needed more of that. Man, that was adorable. That was adorable. Look, I like I like seeing these two. Like, I like seeing these two together. <laughs> Y'all know that meme of like, char here's the character, here's their popularity. That's Sally Mae. <laughs> Sally Mae was a hit from the start and like getting to see more of her is always nice. It's really nice. And her relationship with Millie is like, I thought it was a bit more antagonistic at first, but no, no, they actually do really care about each other. They really do love each other. And I, I like seeing that. I, I, I really like seeing that. I mean, should we bother going back through here? I mean, like, obviously there's there's these two showing up and there's the whole day of the spa and 
Seriously, this was not a look. Let's let's look at this again real quick. <laughs> I mean, honestly, not bad, but I feel like pink's not really her color. I don't know why they jacked Sparkle Cadet's outfit in hell, but okay. But then this, this shit right here, that, that is a look. Yes. This is the, this, I would wear this. I would wear this. I would rock the fuck out of this. Yes. <laughs> but it's hard to find, honestly, it's hard to find skirts in general. I don't know, and it's hard, at least ones that are long enough because i'm six feet tall it's hard it's hard to find find skirts that just go down long enough right but yeah these two they just tear up the town they go to arcades they hang out and this scene of these two dancing here bro this is giving this is giving like rogue and kitty rogue and kitty and x-men evolution vibes vibes that's what i'm that's what i'm getting from that and then this dumbass shows up well deserved Jeez, you do not fucking interrupt women when they're having fun on the dance floor. What is wrong with you? Leave them alone. Okay, if you see a group of women having fun, don't approach them. Leave them alone. Let them have their fun. But yeah, but then we get over here and they, they start having this heart to heart. And like, the whole of this conversation is Sally Mae misses her sister. She she misses her sis. Yes, like Sally Mae apparently had took over her farm and has been running it, like running it nearly by herself ever since Millie left. Which, look, valid. Very valid. Valid, especially when you have a bunch of brothers that seemingly... Who, who all work there why ain't more of them niggas doing more hell doing more to help like you, you got like five you got like five brothers <laughs> i think that's how many she said yeah, but y'all got a bunch of brothers others and the parents clearly are still working the farm too like sally may deserves a break hey that's all i'm saying sally may deserves a break she deserves to be able to come up here and visit her sister more often honestly like this is you see you see this kind of you see this kind of play out a lot of like the the sibling that left that left their town for the big city like I'm from Memphis. Memphis. The one thing people constantly talk about in Memphis is getting out of Memphis. <laughs> Either like the people that are still there in their hometown, well, they'll get jealous about it. Usually take it out in an unhealthy way, but at least they're actually speaking about it. They're actually talking about it, about it in a healthy manner. And like, yes, Millie can visit home more. She should be able to, especially if business is slow right now, but still her job, you know. But these two, they are, they get into their, they start just roughhousing. She really breaks a goddamn bottle. These two literally start, literally start just fighting on the rooftops. This is how they are. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thanks. They, they are black. Jesus. <laughs> uh, but then we see our boy Moxie get home and he just can't help but just smile when he sees Millie. Millie on the couch laughing with her sister. Having a good day. Also, Never really noticed the inside of their apartment. I love the wedding photo over here. Always love to see that. But also, like, these posters on the wall. Obviously, this one's Phantom of the Opera. What are these two? I'm guessing this one might be cats. All right. This one, on, on the other hand, I'm not sure what that might be. Somebody, tell me. What do you think this is? But I love the daggers. We got the random, like, daggers that are in the couch and just hang hanging on the wall. There's fucking kunai in the door? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, but Moxie had... But Moxie had the day at work, and he doesn't want to interrupt their time. He doesn't want to interrupt their time. Good man. And you can see he really loves his wife. He really loves Millie. And these two, the sibling energy, I love it. I, lo I love it. Anyway, that's it for this one. Comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will see y'all later. Goodbye.